Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Star Trek 25th Anniversary. We have the berries. Let's see if we can use them on him. Are they the right berries? The settings on the Ardak 4 have already been adjusted. Just simply place the berry in the machine and the hypodytoxin will be synthesized. Excellent. Let's do that right now. The machine synthesizes a quantity of hypodytoxin. Yep. We've got to get this to Brother Chubb as quickly as possible, Jim. And we will! We're gonna go straight there and use it. No time to delay. We're going straight to Brother Chubb. If you're too slow, he will die. And that will detract from your score. So, we shall use the hypodytoxin on Chubb. This should help him. Thank you. You're most kind. And now we can talk to him. I headed up the party that sought to rescue Brother Candry. Okay. Without warning, the demons appeared and attacked us as we approached the mine. Did they? Can you tell us what they looked like? Mm. Like the demons that have plagued devout folk since before our people left the Earth. Okay. Huge, muscular demons Ugh. with ruddy skin. Truly the manifestation of evil. With bat wings, horns and talons, and a pointed tail. God preserve us all. One tore open my arm, and I surely would have perished. But for my companions who bore me back down the mountain. Good companions. The demons didn't follow you? No. Vexing. Mm, so the demons did not follow. I wonder why that was. I headed up the party that saw no, tell us no, what no, like no, the no, demons no, no, that have played. The demons no. I headed up oh, the Oh god, party I clicked him again. Tell us what like the demons that the demons no. Let's talk to you. I am Brother Grisnash. Hello. I went up the mountainside in solitary prayer, seeking to face my fears. Indeed, I found them. A bellowing Krognik demon with sharp teeth and a long snout descended upon me in a rush of wind. Oh? Captain, a Krognik demon has a decidedly wolfish appearance. Brother Grisnash, is this not the traditional shape of the evil one and his minions among Tellarites? It is. I believe this may be significant, Captain. I think it is. What about you? Brother Candre was, or is, my partner. I was on the communications link when the demons caused the rockfall and silenced him. He said he'd found a strange door with devilish writing. Okay. Truly, he came upon the gate of hell itself. What do you think? My Uncle John lived with the Acolytes a long time ago. He died in their service helping plague victims on New Ontario 6 20 years ago. The Acolytes did a lot of good work for the needy in this quadrant. It will be good to help them for a change. What do you you know, Jim, they can take a captain out of a starship and a science officer out of his lab, but you can never retire a doctor. Not the good ones, that's for sure. <laughs> my mom wanted me to become a doctor. Honest. But I hated my biology classes. So did I, but I became one anyway. <laughs> that is not logical, Doctor. It isn't. Neither were some of my professors. <laughs> what do you think? The medical methods of these people seem primitive to me, Doctor. By our standards, yes. Hmm. Here the acolytes prefer a simpler lifestyle. Unfortunately, this is one of the consequences. What do you have to say? I am Brother Stephen, an Ignatiate following okay. the holy teachings with mind and soul alike. Okay. I believe the anomalous mineral readings in combination with evidence of ancient disturbances in this otherwise highly stable geologic location indicates previous habitation of the region eons ago. Ah. Why, Spock, you two should get along fine. <laughs> he sounds just like you. He is. I would be equally honored to discuss medicine with you, Doctor, as science with your Vulcan associate. No. Let me continue. I believe our god made humans, aliens, and demons all. Okay. If I could get a real demon into my study, I would bless our god for the opportunity, as I thank him for everything in this life. You tread close to unholy knowledge, Brother Stephen. I appreciate your prayers, Brother Roberts. Uh, Captain, if you and your people go up the mountain, I hope afterward you will visit me in my study, which is next door. I'm too old to make the trek myself, but I'm eager for knowledge. In return, I will offer you what insights our god grants these old eyes. Very well. We're actually going to visit his study now, instead of going up. The main reason why is because there are items that we could use in his study. Mainly the curious artifacts that he has in the glass container here. 
very curious. A glass-fronted display of mineral specimens, including a meteorite, a few fossil shells, the skull of a cat-sized alien animal, and a very encrusted twist of metal. Hmm, let's talk to you, shall we? I never dreamed that Starfleet would be interested in my discoveries, Captain. But our god often surprises us. Can I take these? You are interested in my little museum of curiosities? I am. Looks like a pile of junk if you ask me. <laughs> Sometimes they throw a loop at you and don't make the first option the nice one, but uh, we are interested in his junk. Yes, tell us about these things. Where did you find all this? Looks like a pile of junk if you ask. Yes, tell where did you find all this? Yeah. Uh, here and there. Uh, much of it was brought to me by others exploring widely. Looks like a pile of junk if you ask me. Yes, tell us about these I things. I want to hear about these things. I enjoy talking about these <laughs> treasures. <laughs> Shall I go into mineral specimens? You start with mineral specimens. True curiosities, nothing more. I think they're very pretty, don't you? Shall I go into mineral specimens? No. Meteorite. A meteorite, please. I believe this is evidence of the cataclysm which destroyed the moon of Pollux V eons past. Oh? I've constructed a theoretical model based on analysis of the planet's rings of what things might have been like. I think that the moon, like Earth's moon, would have made a total eclipse of the sun possible. I would have liked to have seen that. Conditions making a perfect total eclipse are rare in the universe. Our god creates great wonders. Does he now? Shall I go into mineral specimens? No. Meteorite. No. Fossil shells. Fossil shells, please. One of the oldest forms I've seen on this planet. Our god makes beautiful things indeed. Right. Shall I go into mineral specimens? Nope. Meteorite. Nope. Fossil nope. shells. Skull of a small alien animal. Yes. The skull of a modern Silati, the largest creature native to this planet. Yeah, about the size of a house cat from Earth. The Silatis combine a rather insectoid pattern with four-legged reptilian form, including praying mantis-like forelimbs. Shall I go into okay. mineral specimen? Fossil skull twist of metal. Yes, please. This chunk of rock is a greatly weathered example of a vanadium tungsten alloy, which doesn't occur naturally. It is my best evidence that the area was previously inhabited. Okay. Shall I go into mineral specimen, or would you rather move on to something I'd else? I'd rather move on. Very well. I can't imagine why, but if you have a further interest in any of this, take what you like. But please remember to return my treasures when you're done with ah, them. Ah, that's what we wanted. You are interested in my... Looks like a pile of junk if you ask me. Yes, tell us about... I am... Shall I go in mineral specimen? Or would you... Very well. Like... Now, how do I take them? This is an interesting question. I'll figure this out. Um, but when we come back, folks, next video, we'll take all of the artifacts. I want all of them. I need all of them. Till then, folks, until then, I shall catch you later. See you then.